Today, Michigan Lieutenant Governor Brian Kelly, FHWA Administrator Victor Mendez, Representative Rashida Tlaib, State Transportation Director Kirk Steidel, and the Michigan Department of Transportation celebrated the opening of the long-awaited Gateway Project in Detroit, marking a major milestone towards the completion of an ambitious and vital project and the beginning of improved international travel and trade at the Ambassador Bridge. In this part of our transportation system that serves a critical artery between the two largest trade partners on planet Earth. In 2008, MDOT and the Detroit International Bridge Company, or DIBC, began a joint two-year, $230 million project to get the Ambassador Bridge border traffic off Detroit city streets and link the bridge directly to I-75 and I-96. During construction, the DIBC deviated from the agreed-upon design of the project and blocked Canada-bound vehicles from the dedicated roadway meant to provide direct access to the Ambassador Bridge from the freeway ramps. This put federal funding for the project at risk, leaving MDOT no choice but to challenge the DIBC in court. After several years of court proceedings and appeals, Wayne County Circuit Court Judge Prentice Edwards ruled in MDOT's favor. On March 8, 2012, Judge Edwards ordered MDOT to assume control of the DIBC's portion of the project. The DIBC was ordered to set aside $16 million to pay for the work. MDOT immediately began an aggressive schedule to finally complete the gateway. The project was put out for competitive bidding as a design-build contract in which the award firm provides both a detailed design and construction with MDOT oversight. On April 9th, MDOT selected local contractor Dan's Excavating from Shelby Township who submitted the low bid of $9.4 million for the project. Just steadfast uh, leadership and, and pulling this team together. It was absolutely my pleasure to make sure that we had the, the full resources of the department to pull this off. The contractor and MDOT moved swiftly, putting a priority on completing the planned truck road, which was finished and opened in mid-May. This immediately benefited the local community, providing a dedicated roadway for the 10,000 trucks entering the U.S. from Canada each day, effectively removing them from the neighborhood streets. If you do it right and you stick to the plan, you can get trucks out of local neighborhoods. This work was followed by relocating toll booths and completing the dedicated roadway connecting the Ambassador Bridge to I-75 and I-96. In addition to removing bridge traffic from local streets, these connections made bridge traffic flow safer and more efficient, the primary goal of the Gateway Project. During construction, access was maintained at all times to the bridge and the plaza's duty-free facilities. Completion of this $230 million investment supports improved commerce and travel at this important crossing, a vital part of the largest international trade partnership in the world. To improve access, and we do that through our interstate system throughout the entire nation. This is an incredible project when you look at the impact it's going to have throughout the nation. For more information about the Gateway Project, visit the project website.